Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we will discuss about query optimization and the process of query optimization, how the optimized query can be evaluated with an evaluation plan equivalence rule, we will see as an overview. After the query has been processed and then the translator and the parser has translated into a relational algebraic expression, now it is given to the query optimizer to optimize the value. Now how to optimize the value? First it look at the relational algebraic expression, then it generate logically equivalent relational algebra expression so that it can have a better optimized query on this one. So while having the relational algebraic operation changing their orders and having more precisions, we can generate all the expressions to compare between them. Next, we execute the evaluation plan based on this each of the logical expressions that we have translated. Now after that, we have generated the logical expressions and in the evaluation plan, then we can finally choose among this evaluation plan that which is the most cost effective one, which can we have as the optimized query on the result, which can be put to the execution engine to give the desired result on the query. So now let's look at this example. Now if you look at this query, then we can see that we are finding all the instructor that teaches in the music department and along with it the course ID on the title. So this query will give us a relational expression. Now what happens if we remove this one like this projection on course ID and title on the relation course? So now the course will happen only the music department courses along with the instructor name and details. Now it will give the name and title of the instructor who teaches in the music department with the music department's course and the title. But it can happen that the instructor is teaching in other departments too, that it are having the course and ID on that particular department along with the other departments. So it will not show the departments if we remove this projection of course ID and title over the relation course. So now the join instructor joins teachers joins course relation will give us because the department music is given only as a selection condition to the instructor relation. So now it will select the music department instructor. But what happens if we give this projection on here and the selection here? So it will first select the music department and then give the course ID and title. So it is always better to look in the query optimization stage that to one which we are choosing. We are choosing a projection of a selection or a selection over the projection. So it is always better to choose the selection over the projection, but in some cases there is a particular need of the projection that we cannot change the ordering. If we change this ordering or remove this projection, then it will cost the query at most just giving the exact opposite or not desired result to the query. Now that we are having the music department instructor also with the course ID and title of the course, now when going to the second stage, that will give us the evaluation plans. So before we go to the evaluation plans, we need to find out the alternative large equivalent expression to the relational algebra that we can form with this query. And based on this query's expression, then we can form the evaluation plan. Now what happens, finally we will consider the initial expression tree and from that we will consider a logically equivalent expression tree. So this is the basic initial tree that we can form of this algebra, that is the course projection on the course ID title, joined with the teachers, joined with the instructor, selection over the department musing, finally projection of the name and title. Now what is the equivalent tree that we can form out of it? Now we can first make the selection over the instructor, then generate the join with the teachers. See the instructor teachers join with the teachers course, then it will give us a large intermediate result or the relation as a result. Now what happens if we make this selection over the instructor, 
then finally joins it with the teachers and course then it will happen not only just shorten the intermediate result also it will help us to better project on the name title because already there are fewer queries so this is the expression that is equivalent to this one now we will generate some evaluation plan so that we can have that what is the sorted downing of this portion so the tree that we have drew, what will be the relational algebra expression to it? Now we will write down the relational algebra. Selection over the instructors joins with the teachers, that is the joins with the projection on the course of the course ID and title. So this is the relational algebra of the next expression tree. Now we will describe our evaluation plan. So we will generate the evaluation plan for this least cost effective query optimized one. As from this previous two trees, we can see that the second one was least cost effective because it generates not only a shorter number of intermediate result, but also a better way to look for the relation that all have the department music in it. So we will generate the redundant data and then sorting it down so that we can have a better evaluation on that query. As we know in the evaluation plan, we note all the leaf nodes will have the relations as its name. Now what is the evaluation plan we are taking? We are taking this as an hash join. So in the evaluation plan, we need to mention the type of the join, not only the join on the sign. So it is not an expression tree. We are here also mentioning that which is the type of the joining here. So it is hash joining pipelining process with this projection. So we are using the pipelining and has joining as two of the evaluation plan. So now we are using the instructor, the selection on the department equals to music, use the pipelining to a function sort ID as we are sorting it down with an ID as a primary key. So now we will have all the instructor relation based on the department equals to music selection predicate with the ID as the sorting technique. So now third evaluation plan is to sort the instructor relation. Now from the teachers and courses also, we can find it with the sort ID so that we can have all the instructors ID matches with the teachers ID. So it will be better to join this one because the teachers will have the sorting one. So the ID will be given in the sorted way, like the department way. And from that we can choose the music department very easily. So it is my fourth evaluation plan to have the sort ID over the join on teachers and course. Now as these two pipelinings, we will find one mart join. Why I'm choosing mart join as my evaluation plan? Because now the sort IDs will giving me the instructor that is also a relation with the teachers. So now if there we do need to know about the marching that is instructed that is common to both this one music equals to department and also the teachers equals to the course ID so we can march it down with the final resultant relation. So we can have the march join as our joining not the hash or index join. Finally in the projection we can sort it down to the name. remove the duplicate so if there is any duplicate value then we will remove it here and sort it down with the name of the instructor still here we have made the sorting with the id of the instructor now we are making the sorting to the name of the instructors so there are mainly one two three four five six seven eight nine evaluation plan that we are taking to perform this query optimization now it will generate the evaluation plan of each of the generated tree on the expression built up on the relational algebra. Find the evaluation plan for each of them. Then now the final one, choose among the best cost effective one. So we need to find the cost of each of the plan in terms of the disk transfers, the disk six, and then check which is the lowest one in terms of this. And then we need to choose that evaluation plan to be fed to the execution engine to give us the query optimization technique complete. Finally, the execution engine will create the evaluation plan, evaluate it in, and then finally give the desired result. So this is all for the query optimization technique. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikira and subscribe to Ikira.